All right, man, let's talk about uh, the Lions running back. And obviously, <clears throat> they have a preference of running backs that, you know, some ain't going to make the roster. Some might <clears throat> make the practice squad. Uh, they brought on Justin Jackson. I liked him in the Chargers. He had a couple spot stars here who looked pretty good on Northwestern Big Ten country. Um, but I got a twist here, man. <clears throat> I've been saying this all off season and stuff, man. Um, but let's pull up this uh, <clears throat> roster. Check out Detroit Lions. Saw so playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. So, um, obviously, you got Swift, Jamal Williams, Jamar Jefferson, Godwin in the Buki, uh, Craig Reynolds, uh, Justin Jackson. You got the fullback. I don't know if we're going to count with Jason Cabardine. So right here, plus the fullback, is uh, two, three, four, five, six. So hold on, am I tripping? That's a two plus, plus Jason, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven. I just say the fullback going to make it. So you got six spots, six places. I mean, you got four. You probably, you probably in reality going to carry five backs and all. So you probably got four backs available. In Ibuki is very, very explosive. All right, he the best explosive back, not named DeAndre Swift. He runs very hard. Last year they ran into the issue of him fumbling the football. But also he gives versatility if you need to in an emergency situation. He can go play defense. In an emergency situation, he can go out there and play defense, and he's a contributor on special teams. So he brings value on all three phases of the ball because it might be slim to none he ever get on the uh, defensive field again. But and that was Anthony Lynn that spotted him and said he could be a uh, a running back. And they changed him to running back. He ran very, very hard. Now he has some fumbling issues, which, you know, those can be corrected. Technique, holding the ball in the proper arm, three points of pressure, whatever they call all that. That can be that can be all fixed. So you know we got to really be concerned with all that per se. But he give he brings value on each side of the football plus special teams. And he your second most explosive running back. So right then and there. That's going to be hard to get rid of. Then you talk about somebody like Justin Jackson just got here. Good back, good speed, good power. But behind the eight ball, the playbook uh, and uh, learning offensive line, but at six foot 199, solid running back. Been around a while, solid guy, but he got an outside chance of making it. Only 26, too. These are my Jamar Jefferson. What was he like a six round pick? Um, I, I, I'm, I'm safe saying this. He is more explosive than his 40 time indicated. Has some really good runs. Super duper quick. Um, he just need opportunity. You know, very, very. I think he a very instinctive, instinctive runner. And, and that's what you like about him. He's very instinctive, naturally, nowhere to go, cut. I just think he's a football player. I just think he's a football player. And that's what he is. He's a football player. And that's what you like about him. He's a football player. And I, I think with the opportunity, he could do a lot. Got an injury late last season, so that kind of hurt his campaign. And, you know, but, you know, probably a candidate to go on the practice squad, to be honest. So uh, it talks about Inabuki, who got some good size on a six foot two ten two. Um, then you talk about Craig Reynolds, um, six foot, you know, 5'11, 216. I think he should start, honestly, dude. I like the way he run hard. Um, you know, run hard, love his pad level, love the Arizona game last year. Um, you know, and I think he should be, he should be the, he should be the, the lead back. 
the one that's going to bang it up the middle and, you know, the one that's going to get the tough yards. Um, I think with experience, he ain't got nowhere but to go but up. He only 26 too. So I like to see him be the lead back. You know, love the way he keeps his pass low. Solid frame, you know. He got a nice little kick and explosion to him too for his size. And then obviously we got DeAndre Swift, Mr. You know, unreliable. But um the potential was great. Real great. Came in, you know, stronger this offseason, only 23 years old. Um um catching to do everything else, but you know, he's showing those durability and he, he's a scat back. That's what he's showing. Through his durability, he's a scat back. You know, he's a back that's going like, you know, just, you know, catch the passes, go on the outside, you know, run the outside sweeps and off tackles and the screen plays. So until he can show up, and then he's not that tough a runner on the inside either. You like to see him be a lot more tougher running in between the tackles. Then, you know, he don't finish runs neither with physicality. You know, they showed that in Hard Knocks. You want, you want to see this kid finish runs with physicality, delivering the blow. He ain't gonna be he ain't gonna be no Derrick Henry, but you want to see him deliver deliver that death blow or lower them pads and send a message to the defense. You know, so it's still a lot to be learned there. It is a ton to be learned by that kid. So hopefully, phys- you know, physically, you know, mentally, he puts it all together and um, and um, you know, and become a stud because the potential is there. But you know, it just seemed like he don't have the toughness in between the tackles, and he don't have the durability. That's one of the things when I look at him that it's kind of lacking. And then you talk about Jamal Williams. Six foot, you know, I think he should I think he should be traded. I'm not gonna hold you up. I think he should be traded. Yeah, he like him raw raw leader and all that type of stuff, but um <clears throat> we got some young lions in there, dude. He ain't too old himself when he's 27, but he the probably he the biggest back on the team. At least out the running backs. You know, so I think they should just go with the younger guys, and that's gonna be hard because you you want to you want to have some experience there, and him and DeAndre Swift is very experienced. You know you want to have that you want to have that you want to have that experience. You want to have that experience, you know, in the backfield, but the running back position is a young man's position. It's a young man's position, and I think. They probably better off serving, you know, see if they can get get some compensation back for Jamal Williams and run with the younger guys. Because last year it seemed like him and DeAndre Swift wasn't really a good mixture. It kind of like Swift took him out of his rhythm. He was taking Swift out of his rhythm. And then they turned it up and started giving Swift the ball. And he really started to, you know, answer the call a bit. And then he got injured again. So it's a crapshoot when you talk about going with Inabuki, Jamar Jefferson, and Craig Reynolds and DeAndre Swift, it's a crapshoot. But um, I guess you always can start, you know, keep Jamal Williams there and then, you know, put one of them on the practice squad and bring them back. But I'm just sort of elk that Craig Reynolds should get the line, should get the, the power back shares, and DeAndre Swift would just do what he's doing. They balance it out that way. And in a book, and Jamar Jefferson come come in and, and, and handle the role, uh, handle the rest of the load that's left. Um, I'm going with the young guys and moving Williams somewhere else. And that's my opinion. I just I don't really you know I, I mean I think he's a good football player no doubt about it but let the young guys eat Come, let the young guys eat and run that football and let bare minimum let DeAndre Swift not have to worry look over his shoulder and let him get all carries and if he can't answer the bill then make sure you be looking for another running back but hey um, let me know what you girls and guys think check Detroit Lions talk playlist out thumbs up the video share the video subscribe to the channel next subscribe button hit the bell icon button hit all notifications increase your chance to get notifications. We go live, we drop a video. Finance, you want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Spotify, and Apple. <laughs> Spotify, and Anchor. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the Detroit Lifestyle playlist for more videos like this. One time for one time. Peace.